This podcast contains themes that are unsuitable for younger listeners and parental guidance is advised. It's, it's been 30 years since it came. What the f*** was that? The Android gas sucks. How on, guys! I was having a good dream, a real good dream, you know, I was uh, dreaming that me, Chi Chi and our kids, our impending kids, and it was great, and then I woke up, I fell onto the floor, Chi Chi looked at me, oi, the fuck's gone on with you, oh stop it Chi Chi, just fell out of bed, well you're not in bed, you're on the bridge, oh shit, sorry Chi Chi, <coughs> look, don't worry about that, yeah? Just sit back and keep an eye out on the uh, scope, yeah? Yeah, no worries, no worries. It's been a while since we've been together, just me and you. You know, everyone else is in bed or doing something else on the ship. And, you know, a bit of me and you time. I know, Gigi, I know. Yeah, it's been a long time since it's just been me and you alone, you know? We're having to hot bed in the cabins. We're having to uh, all be in each other's pockets, you know, and you've, you've been on missions which I've not been able to go to. I know, I know babes, I know, but hopefully you won't be too much longer. These babies are going to arrive before we get home, you do know that. I know, I know babes, I know. And uh, the idea is to try and get us home as fast as we can, I know. What's that alarm? Oh shit, let's have a look. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, sound the proper alarm, get everyone here. What? Chi Chi, sound the fucking alarm, get everyone here now. There's a fucking armada and it's tracking us. It's behind us, but at our current speed, they're not they're gonna catch up soon enough. Right, okay. Okay, let's get everyone here. Right guys. There is a fleet on our tails and they're catching up with us, they're gaining on us. Bitch! Well, let's fucking turn the uh, engines up then, shall we? Elvis, come on. Stop talking like that. We can't sustain the speed. Right, well, that sounds a bit better. Why can't we sustain the speed, Elvis? Because our engines have been going in overdrive for uh, three days, okay? Yeah, that sounds a lot more uh, legit now it's, Now you change your voice back. Okay, okay. I was just trying. Look, give us this shit later on. Right now, why can't we uh, ramp up the engines? We've been going fast for ages. The engines need to cool down, you know. They need a break. And we can only sustain this speed for the next 12 hours. 12 hours, is that it? Yes, that is it. If we increase the speed, then we get about three, four hours out of it, and then they catch up with us anyways. Right. So we've got 12 hours to come up with a plan before we, what? Before we have to drop out of hyperspace. How long do we have to drop out of hyperspace for? We have to uh, shut down our engines for at least a day. A day? Yeah, so we can recharge the engines. We, we've got the fuel, but the engines need to be shut down. Right. So we're fucked then, aren't we? In a nutshell, yes we are. Chi Chi darling, yeah? You know your little trick that you did that time? Well, I did a lot of tricks, sweetheart. Yeah, no, no. That time where you kept going in and out of hyperspace to help trash those ships and go all fucking mental. Could we do that again? Yeah, but we need to be able to use the engines to get into hyperspace. So what are we gonna do then? Well, we can sustain the speed for 12 hours that's right, isn't it, Elvis? Yeah. So if we drop out of hyperspace in six hours, so we basically, if we uh, get, if we take the time to prepare for battle, get everything running properly, we've got time on our side. So it, say we can get battle ready, fully battle ready in t in uh, six hours or less. Then we drop out of hyperspace, let them catch up, and we uh, just destroy the shit out of this fleet with the new weapons, and we're just do that 
that trick that I came up with that time and see if we can inflict even more damage on them without perishing and at least then we'll have some hyperspace uh, left within us uh, so we can make a quick escape. Anyone object to that plan? Old oh, man, I, I ain't got nothing man, I ain't got nothing. Okay, Frank. Good as plan as any. Elvis. Bitch, come on. Elvis, stop talking like that. Okay, yeah, well, I, I haven't got an idea. Okay, Anna, do you have an idea? No, no, we'll have to do that. Okay, right. So, Chi Chi, you're obviously piloting. Who do you want co-pilot? I'm, I'm going to need Anna to co-pilot with me. Okay, okay, right. So, okay, so you, you two are pilot, co-pilot. Elvis, um, you're on operations uh, as normal, so you can support them and what they need, because you're fastest at it. Well, yeah. That's that's because it's me. It's El I'm Elvis, motherfucker. Look, Elvis, you've really got to work on that, man. you really got to work on that. Okay, old man, looks like me, you and Frank, we're on uh, weapons. Okay, right, so let's get all our handheld weapons on the bridge, ready to go. What else can we do? Elvis, how much power do we have? Oh, well, we've got plenty of power. Okay, good, good. So... Can we set up little force fields along the decks in case we get boarded? So if we get boarded, then they have to get through those force fields before they get to the bridge. Is that doable? Yeah, it's a piece of piss, Frank. You can do that. Yeah, I'll fucking do that. Okay, right, that's fine. Okay? God, bitch. Elvis, man. Seriously? Stop calling people bitches. And stop kissing your teeth. You don't even have teeth to kiss. Okay? And you're not even doing that for your telepathy, you're doing that physically. Elvis, man, seriously? Look, okay, okay. But I'm trying to be me, you know. Yeah, but there's a time and a place, man, seriously. Okay. Right, it looks like you're with me, old man. Let's get these weapons all stashed around the ship in case we have to do a runner and whatnot. Okay, okay. The prep was going really well. I mean, way too well. Within an hour, we were near enough battle ready. Me and the old man strategically placed weapons uh, knocking around uh, the ship, and then we established every force field, so we were completely prepared. The engine room was all uh, locked down. There's no way in unless they uh, could get through the shields as well as uh, cut through the uh, bulkheads. So there's no way into that engine room. Well, I mean, we completely sealed it. No way in. All they had to do was funnel their way into the bridge, and that was it. And being a cheeky bastard that I am, I made sure that there's lots of objects that are sharp just pointing outwards towards the airlock. So if we had to burst a couple of airlocks here or there on the ship, people not only would get sucked up, but they'd get a face full of knives and forks and other debris that would just really mince them up a little bit. But other than that, we were ready. We were so ready. Okay, right, everybody, are we all good to go? Chi Chi, you good? Yeah. Anna? Yeah. Elvis? Hell yeah. Well, that's a bit of an improvement. Frank and the old man, you're already on your weapons consoles, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking ready. Let's fucking have them. Okay, let's drop out of hyperspace and see what the fuck happens. The battle started. I deployed as many of the uh, self replicating uh, torpedoes that we got and watching them getting launched and phasing in and out of these uh, ships. They didn't do anything. They were duds. Why were they duds? Because the shields. We had to take out their fucking shields first. Okay, right, old man. Those aren't working. Old man and Frank don't fire any of those torpedoes yet. You have to drop their shields first. The shields have to go down. Okay, right. GG, start. Oh my god. It feels like I left my lunch behind. Oh uh, yeah, same here. Oh, Jesus. Christ, you can fly a woman. Jesus. Keep on the starboard side, there's loads there. Fuck, roll us, Chi Chi, roll us. I'm trying, stupid. I'm fucking trying, okay? You know, who's fucking flying this thing, me or you? Look, don't need to do that with me, yeah, sweetheart. Just uh, try and uh, keep us uh, going. Yes, I know that. Just leave me alone. I know, I need more power to the air. Uh, oh, shit. My lunch is coming up. Oh, fuck. Is 
that big bastard ship. It's lost its shields. Get him with the torpedoes. Yeah, that's a fucking done deal. Wow. Holy shit, that was amazing. Holy fuck. Amazing. Look at them. Look at them. a lot of them are just fleeing now. They just seen that fucking weapon. Man. Yeah, come on, you fucking cunt. Come on. Shit. We've lost sensors. What, internal or external? Both. Oh, shit. Have they got us? Dunno. Elvis, how are the shields holding out? We're about 10% left. 10%? Jesus Christ. Well, we are taking a pound in from about 50 ships, you know. Yes, I know that. Shit. Come on. Let's get some more of this done. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, you little fucking bitch. Hey. Fuck you. Come on, you cunts. Fucking bastards. Come on. Come on. Yes, come on. GG, how you doing? Yeah, I'm starting to feel really sick, so we, we, I can't be out holding this uh, for much longer. Okay, well, let's just get the fuck out of here, shall we? Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is anyone following us, Elvis? I, I, don't, I don't know, mate. The um, sensors are down. Right, okay, can we see anything on the view screen? No, we're in hyperspace, it's useless. Cameras ain't gonna do shit. Right, okay, okay. Right. So, how are we do? How are the shields doing? What shields were fucked? They're like 10% still. Okay. Oh man, what's the damage on the poor computer saying? It's, uh, <laughs> it's red all over, mate. Red dots, red lines, oh shit. What, so, so that means uh, we've got hole breaches everywhere. Mate, it's worse than last time. Oh shit. So, we're only just being kept together by the shields. Yeah. Alvis and Frank, is there any way to boost power to the shields? Where are we taking it from? What do you mean? We've got to take fucking power from somewhere to put it into the shields to help boost them up. It's like we're leaking fucking power. We're leaking power everywhere. Shit. Is there anywhere that we can set down? I don't know, the, the sensors are fucked. We can't tell anything. Navigation's down the lot. Oh shit. Elvis, how long until the shields collapse? Hell man, about at least three hours. That's all I can give you, estimate wise. All right, three hours. We need to work out how much power we have. Get the sensors running and navigation up and running so we can find somewhere to set down and make repairs. Mate, if we're gonna make repairs, we might as well buy a new fucking ship. Yeah, well, we don't have the money or resources to buy a new fucking ship, Elvis, yeah? Just get your shit together and get it fucking done. Hey, look at you talking like the boss. It's turning me right on cheat sheet. It's not the right fucking time. And besides, it, before you're, you're feeling sick, well, I am. But there's not much else I can do. Well, sweetheart, how about you go and take a lay down now? Do you wanna just grab those sticks and let Gigi have a break. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, cool. Right, let's get cracking. Henry. Yeah, Frank. I think I've got navigation up and running. All right, okay, let's have a look, let's have a look. Right, where are we? Well, we're here. Yeah. And um, according to this, we're not that far away from a rogue planet and a load of moons to go with it. A rogue planet with moons? Jesus. Okay, well, take us there. How long will it take us? Well, with what speed we've got out of the hyperdrive. It's going to take about an hour. Okay. So we can make it there before the shields collapse? Yeah. We don't know if it can support life. We don't know anything about it. But at least if we set down, we can then just collapse shields to certain sections of the ship whilst we're in spacesuits and make repairs in the hull. That's a fucking good idea. I'll take that idea, mate. Yeah, so will I. Anyone else disagree? No, no, let's let's get there as soon as we can. Yeah, let's fucking do that. Thank you for listening. Please come back next week for the next episode. If you've enjoyed this podcast, why not check out our other podcasts, A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs? 
which is a brutal but witty portrayal of working a job you hate. In this podcast, there are themes explored in which happy workers simply wouldn't understand unless they listen to these cautionary tales from a man that lost his ideal job because of the global pandemic. Be warned that this podcast contains strong and offensive language that some listeners may not want to hear. In addition, this podcast is not recommended for younger audiences. All our podcasts are available on YouTube. Just search for the Master X Media podcast channel. In addition, you can also find our podcasts on Amazon Music, Red Circle Podcasts, Stitcher and Spotify. We also have another YouTube channel called The X Review. This is a review and reaction channel. Not only is it on YouTube, but it is also on Brand YouTube, BitChute and Rumble. You can also find us on Facebook, Gab, Twitter and Parlour. All the links are in the description below.